back here with my Inquisitor builds. Um, I'm just gonna show you what level 30 looks like and hopefully get into some stuff. Let me just get these things going. There we go, there we go. Right, so the Inquisitive Tree. Um, I'm level 30. As you can see, still in the 12 Rogue, 6 Ranger to Fighter mode. Um, I slapped some gear on this guy that is pretty much just focused on intelligence. Um, it isn't the best gear setup, but it's just to get things going. So let's see. The Ring of Nightfall, which gives insightful intelligence, and the Neki from uh, White Plume Mountain for a 19. And a Legendary Disciple Dawn, and a Precision Lenses for extra haste uh, boosts for my No Holds Bards. Um, this is what the damage looks like I took some feats in this levels legendary feats I chose the scion of plane of fire for extra fire damage it isn't the best for this build but I wanted to see what numbers it produced before I go into my next build which will be uh, Eldritch Knight as you can see, there are a lot of numbers on every hit. Um, Pierce Adamantium, I took Heartbringer of Chaos for extra damage. Double Shot, Blinding Speeds, Combat Archery. The epic defensive fighting you get for free, and the skills and fate points, and improved sneak attack. I also got on this an overwhelming critical. So that are the feats I took in the epic levels. Um, to get these kinds of numbers. I'm just heading to Cabal to show you, hopefully, a bit of a showcase on how the DPS is. In a Reaper, this isn't the best build of all. I think I can forego on the Ranger levels. Um, the extra Sneak attack is pretty cool on a build with the Inquisitive Tree. And the fighter for the Haste Boots, I'm gonna turn and switch that for Artificer next. Life. So, do we do Elite or Reaper? Let's just try Reaper and see if we survive at all. Because this is probably gonna hurt, but we'll see. Let's get some buffs going. Um, because of the intelligence builds on this thing, uh, my UMD and all skills are pretty high. So I can scroll pretty much anything. Um, and I'm not really using Well, this is on Reaper. You see, DPS is really isn't that bad. Things just melt away pretty fast. And uh, let's see how fast we can do this. So, I need to do anything? Don't think so. Just gonna talk to this guy. And I'm gonna tell him to bugger off. And see what happens. Well, this is with seven stacks of blitz going. As you can see, my defenses aren't that good and that great. I have to kite a lot so I won't be hit. Of course better gear will solve that but I don't have displacement clickies or anything. But at least I'm surviving and the mob is dying. Well, let's, let's just get him. There you go. Just before I died. <laughs> so Let's just see, uh, show you some numbers on this build. It's pretty cool. 
I'm very happy with it. It was a fun leveling experience after level 12. Uh, before level 12 it was very slow with the um, crossbows. Yee. Burning. So I've been uh, tinkering around and next build will be 12 wizards for the Eldritch Knight tree. Um, probably 4 bards and 4 artificial. To top that off and I'm going um, the scoundrel class. As I need three of those in this build to get my 30% speed bump. Um, furthermore, the Epic Destiny I'm pretty much stuck in is the Legendary Dreadnoughts. I've been looking around on the interwebs what to uh, put in as twists, which is pretty hard for uh, ranged, uh, ranged with a crossbow specifically. So at the moment I am running Piercing Clarity, which uh, gives me Ghost Touch that I didn't have before in my build, so that's pretty useful for me as I don't have the gear for it at the moment. Um, and some Fortification Bypass, which is nice for my sneak attacks. Then I used Pin to pin some stuff down once in a while. Uh, a Cocoon for me and my party members, and uh, Stay Frosty to slow everything down that I'm damaging. Now, um, I have tested the Pulverizer and I've been looking at my crit range which this should give plus one. Um, people are saying that once you use the Purifying Quiver your weapons and arrows become uh, bludgeoning. Now, they say this worked on um, Shuri Throwers so I was wondering if it worked on a uh, bow, a crossbow to be precise. And I've been running around shooting things and checking up on my crit range and it's just 1620. Just like the tooltip here says, 16 over 20 crit chance. And when I take off my purifying quiver, nothing really happens. So I've been attacking mobs with and without my quiver and my crit range didn't change. So I think it doesn't work. Um, if anybody has other experiences and can prove it or something or tell me how to test it properly, um, please contact me and I'll f test it out and try it out. So for now the purifying quiver is a bust and not necessary uh, for the pulverizer. It just doesn't seem to work. Um, it's been a pretty fun running in Legendary Dressnut um, together with the No Holds Bard and the Fuse Lights. If I put it, it goes on 20 second cooldown because I'm in Legendary Dreadnought and it's an 18 seconds boost and 18 seconds. Uh, 2 second cooldown is just like a machine gun, running around with a machine gun, um, plus you, once you uh, are hitting your blitz, uh, it fills up in no time. So let's just get some numbers in here. As you can see, um, this is on Reaper 1 with a subpar gear. Um, my health is pretty good too, it's 1400 in Reaper, and I just got my 20th point. So that's not too bad. Uh, I only have four past lives or something like that. Well, there I died. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the build. Uh, you can check out the other videos if you want to know more about ooh, how I build it. And what I took on feats and what I took for my uh, ability points. It's just straight up uh, filled up inquisitive. Ooh, I'm alive again. Who would have thought? Um, and I took the intelligence to damage from the rogue tree to get the sharpshooter in for the extra sneak attack. Then the intelligence to hit here and some known the angles, some extra hit points. Then I took this one to get to sniper shots. And I took this one for the extra boosts so I can hit no hold bars for 
three extra times. And you can also get the extra times from, um, what you might call it, Artificer. So that will be my next build uh, for Artificer, for Bard and 12 Wizard. Uh, I need a wizard life on this. I'm gonna go for completionist first, the heroic one, so I can get the feet in my builds. And after that, um, we'll see. I'll probably go for another bard, scoundrel, thingamabob. So these are the numbers you're seeing. You can't even read them, right? It's not that bad. If you have any questions, just hit me up on YouTube or in-game on the Galanda server or um, somehow through Twitch. I don't know if that's even possible, but it should be possible. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. I'm just gonna call it here. I'm gonna TR to my next build. If you are trying to um, make this build and you wanna run something like this, just be my guest, uh, you can see it on the other videos. If you have any improvements, um, just put it in the description below so other people can um, get a build, better build too. That's why I'm doing this. So everybody can have some fun in game and be efficiently going through their TR train. As you can see, the fire damage, by the way, that I got from my uh, legendary feet isn't that bad. And I'm not even specced for spell damage. So it's like 50 to 60 damage on every arrow. Which is nice, along with all the other extra damage it gets. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. See you in the next life. Bye-bye.